to determine the length of EF being that it is four times the length of DE. And what they want us to determine is the coordinates for point D to make that a true statement. And we're going to use that section formula. So we have x of p is equal to x sub 1 plus a over a plus b times x2 minus x1. And what we have to understand, family, is that we're going to be using these ordered pairs. And when we substitute, this is the correct substitution we want. So the new x coordinate is going to be equal to the first one, right? So we're talking about e plus, and remember that if it's four times the length, that means we have to use the fraction one over four to plug in because we're trying to divide it into four parts. And we know we're going to subtract six from 14. That's the x2 minus x1. Now, when we simplify, we have x is equal to 6 plus 1 over 4 times 8. When we simplify a fraction, this is going to be equal to 6 plus 2, so we know x is equal to 8. So just based off this answer, we could eliminate three of our answer choices. Now we need to determine what is the y. So when we repeat this for y, this is what our equation should look like. So we have y is equal to... 4 plus 1 over 4 times 12 minus 4. And when we simplify this as well, what we're going to get is 4 plus 1 over 4 times 8. So y is equal to 4 plus 2, meaning y is equal to 6. So the ordered pair that will make this a true statement for point D is going to be 8, 6. 